Mother's Day is fast approaching. The burning question is what to make the moms in your life that they will love. Using your Cricut, the options are endless. From shadow boxes to custom shirts, to tumblers, earrings, cards, keychains, and more. Join me as I show you a few ideas that you can make using your Cricut in about an hour. I have created all of these in design space so I can share these files if you wanna make these yourself. I will show you how to make these from scratch so you can personalize these for your loved one. Let's get started. Please subscribe and ring the bell. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these Mother's Day earrings along with a holder, along with how to create your own. So I have done this completely from scratch in Cricut Design Space so that I can share this. There's been no uploaded images except for the fonts, which I can let you know which ones those are. But if you want to choose to print this yourself, it will say you do not have a font it will still let you continue to make it. So I'm gonna first show you how to make the earrings. First you do a circle, and then I also added a triangle. So all you do is you just resize this, the triangle to fit on the circle. And your goal is just to make the edges smooth, about like that. Okay, and then what you do is you highlight them both, and you click weld. Okay, and that'll make a teardrop. And then you wanna take one more circle and you wanna make it very, very tiny. I'm gonna change the color just so you can see it a little bit easier. And then you wanna make it come down a little ways. If you do it too close to the edge when it cuts, uh, the leather, if it's not very thick leather, it's, it's a lot easier for the Cricut to um, shred this part and then the earring won't stay together. So I would suggest making the hole come down just a little ways to give you a little bit more space there. So once you have it positioned the way you want it, then you highlight both of these and you click slice and then you just slide it away and then you wanna erase both of these circles that were sliced out. And then what you wanna also do is figure out how big you want them. I had made these earrings um, two inches. So just kinda depending on what who you're making this for and kinda what they like. So I'm gonna go ahead and make these about two inches. So this is gonna be the back layer. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate them. And I duplicate them afterwards so then I know that the circles and everything are the exact same. I'm also gonna make one more copy for the front and I'm going to change the color. Again, I'll just do this one purple. So you have so many options. I went ahead and did a little Mickey and a heart, and I'll show you real quick how to do the Mickey. Again, you can do so many different designs, heart stars, mountains even if you would like. How I made the Mickey is I went ahead, made some circles, and just made this one a little bit bigger. And all I did was just kind of positioned the circles like this. And then I copied them and welded them together. And then I just resized. I put them in front of here and I sliced my image out. And I did the same thing with the heart above it. Again, this is just an idea, but there's so many ways that you can customize your own for your loved one that you're making these for. And then you just put the heart and you slice it out. And that is how I made the Mickey. I'm going to just erase those. And then you would just take the purple one and duplicate it for both sets before you print it. Okay, and then the card that I made, I went ahead and just kind of measured since these were two inches. All I did was very simply, I just made a four inch square. I took two little circles and I sliced the circles out so then when it goes to cut my rectangle that it sliced those. And then the writing I used um, from defont.com Waldo graft for the mom. Erase these. Okay. I'm going to make this a little bit lighter so the writing will show up. 
And then for the text, I just did mom. And then my font here, I did Waldo Graft, since I'm doing a, a Waldo Graft, a, a Disney theme. Okay, and the thing to keep in mind is this is not going to be a cut. So you want to make sure you highlight it and you come up here to operation and you say pen. With this font, it just does the outline. It does not color it in, which you can use the same font for the bottom one. So I just did, I love you. You can do the same thing if you wanted that, but I, I wanted to have more of a thin font. I went ahead and picked Bail Home. And then for this, before you print, the thing that you want to keep in mind is one, make sure both of them are pen or highlight all of these and you want to hit attach. If you do not hit attach, it is going to write on here. Um, if you hit weld, it will disappear. So you need to make sure you hit attach in order for it to know that it writes it first and then it cuts the square out for the earring holder. And that's how you make the earrings. Okay, now the next one I'm going to show you is how to make the mom wristlet keychain. Again, super simple. All you need to do is just make two rectangles. I went ahead and measured. My keychain hooks were about an inch wide, so I made sure that mine were an inch. So I'm just going to do an one inch by, I measured and I felt 11 inches was a pretty good length to go around the wrist, but again, that is up to you what works best for you so I just made two of these again I went ahead and used the Walto graft font for the mom just to kind of keep things consistent and just made sure I resized it if needed to fit well on there which that actually looks good and then again the Mickey was just a couple circles and then you just weld and then just resize um, one thing to keep in mind with the keychains, when you go to print them, I used heat transfer vinyl, and you want to make sure you mirror. If you don't, then it's going to be backwards. So keep that in mind, but you don't necessarily need to do anything when you go to cut the long strips. It's only The only thing you really need to mirror is the mom, which would come out backwards. And now we'll go on to the card. Okay, now for the card, I'm going to show you how to make the front, but because it has the Disney castle, I cannot share the front of the card, but I can certainly share this pop-up inside, and then you can design the front or with the castle, and I'll show you how to do that, and I can have everything else available for you guys. All you need to do is just click on the card link for the mom, and you'll have the inside, and then it'll say Disney mom like a regular mom, just more magical. And then I will show you how to punch the Disney castle out if that's what you wanna do. All you need to do is go to your shapes. And then what I did is just unlock the button and I just made it the same exact size as this one. Okay, and then I just locked it and slid it over and I'm gonna make it a lighter color. Um, Cricut Design Space does not allow you to share anything that has uploaded images for copyright issues, which is understandable. All you would need to do is go to your search engine. I just typed in Disney Castle Bart. I just clicked on this one. And then all you do is you right click and say save image as. And you just say Disney Castle Mickey. And then when you go back into your design space, you go to upload and upload image and browse. Okay, and then you hit open. You click on the complex. I go to my advanced options, change my color tolerance to 150, and then I just click one time here, and it should erase everything. And you've got nice smooth lines. You hit continue, make sure you click on cut image and upload. Then you just click on that one and say insert image, and there it is. So now the only thing you need to do is resize this. And I made the mistake initially and I made it way too big. So I'm gonna slide this over so you can see it next to 
this one. So if you slice it out and the castle is way too big up to here, then you're gonna have a lot of dead space back here. So you wanna make sure that the castle fits basically here on the front. So what I'm gonna do is just make it a little bit bigger and bring it down and just center it. And then all you do is slice that out, just highlight. Oh, it's because these are in the way. You don't wanna get it too close to the edge because then when it goes to cut, it might rip it. So I'd make sure you have a little bit of space on the bottom. All right, you wanna highlight both of these and hit slice and then you just erase both of the castle. And then it will cut the castle out. And then you just drag these up. They, for whatever reason, go to the front. So then you say send to back. Just move the words over. They're both already in pen. So you just place them where you want. Then you highlight both of them and say attach. And then it will write and then cut the castle out. And I also was planning on using my castle cutout to put on my envelope for my card. And then this one says mom and wow. And then you can feel free to customize. This is how you make the card. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks. If you love my mommy's video, give her a thumbs up!